That's true, look at that man, my goodness me. Yeah, run away, you coward! Alright, ex excuse me? You just punched the monster right out of the horror movie. Yeah, I know, because I'm a genius. No need to tell me. <laughs> Drinks or depression? Will they ever stop buzzing? This is my life. You're probably wondering how I got here. <laughs> Energy zero, though. I gotta get myself a cup of coffee. Welcome back to my masquerade. My name is Para, your host, and welcome to Blackout Hospital. Now, if you guys don't know, this is the same developer, RK Kitten, that made Crow's Hair, It's Not Me, It's My Basement, Cemetery Mary, and Trick and Treat. So, let's begin. Warning, this game contains the following content. Flashing lights, potentially loud noses, strong language, medical malpractice, violence, blood, death, mentions of child death, mal gore, bloody horror, suicide. Interesting, so pretty much all the other ones. We all seen the warnings. We know how it is. If what I want to believe and what I know to be true are two different things, do I have to choose the right one? Would it make me a bad person for trying to find a way around that truth for my own happiness? Okay, this game is very long, that's all I know, so I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to finish the series on the channel. Tonight is the first night I feel comfortable saying I've been working here for a while. At this point, it's almost hard to remember a night I haven't spent working in Ulta Big Hospital. I picked up the job shortly after I moved to this area, and I've been working here ever since. It's been... a little boring, I guess? Average? But it's not like I don't know what I was getting into. My work here is important though, and I'd like to think I'm dedicated to it. I mean, let's be honest, this place will probably fall apart without me. Is that me? The little redhead? I wonder if any of those white coats ever realize it though. Oh, that's me. Oh, I got little wings. I think I've seen her. No, no, I haven't. Probably not. It's not like it matters anyways. I'd rather clean the bathrooms before trying to hold a conversation with any of them. Now I'm just getting distracted, though. What was I doing? Right. Oh, right. Oh, I kind of heard something. Okay, okay, let me see if I can match her voice. Oh, right. There's been a few spills on this floor. Better get to it. I take it you're going to help me with that? I, I guess so. Don't look at me like that. All right, arrow keys, Z, interactor space. Shift, C, X, space. To clip a mouse on the floor, stand over and click the your interaction button. No problem. Oh, I got my little cart. Okay, can I talk to anyone? Can I go into rooms? Thank goodness, I'll be too much. Vending machine. A vending machine. You aren't hungry right now. Okay, so it's gonna be one of those. I can't wait to take my lunch break. Or, I guess, midnight snack break. How long have you been working, woman? Must be some sort of orange juice or orange soda. Clumsy people are always spilling this stuff. Environmental service worker. I don't think I can. Environmental. There we go. Environmental service worker. That's my official title. That's nice. No. But let's be real. We all know it's just a pretty dope version to say janitor. Janitor gets the point across quicker anyway, so I prefer to just say it for what it is and be done with it. And heaven forbid I start a sentence saying I work in the hospital. Janitor. That's all I really need to say. But I'm a damn good one, too. Even if no one ever appreciates it. Yeah, definitely. Whatever. All clean. I think you're doing a fantastic job. I'm not gonna talk to any- wait, am I? Uh, sorry. I talk, but the lights in here give me a headache. Will they ever stop buzzing? Oh, these poor people. They work too far. Looks like some artificially blue-favored energy drink. Artificial red is much better flavor, though. Right. I work the night shift, of course. You heard me say that earlier, didn't you? Honestly, I think that's a good thing about this job. I think people tend to be less annoying at night. At least from my point of view. Everyone's too tired to start much of a fuss. Yeah, definitely, definitely. The downside is that I never get any sleep when I'm at home. Everyone is always awake and making noise. Lawnmowers, cars, animals. Ugh. Not to mention, sleeping all day and working all night hardly gives me room to make plans. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 
Not like there's much of anyone to make plans with anyway. <sighs> Maybe you and I should catch a movie sometimes then, huh? How do you know you're talking to me? All clean. I'm not even standing there. I'm you. You're me. I... You know what? I'll take it. Whatever. You're just like me. I'm just like you. Let's go do our janitor job. Hello. What was this number again? Oh, did I put it in my contacts? Uh, excuse me, I'm in the middle of something. Yes, of course, I'll leave you alone. Excuse me, I can't talk much. A doctor's work is never done. If you could just get out of my way, thank you very much. Of course, I'm just a janitor, don't mind me. Some sort of yellow substance. Not going to question it, just cleaning it. I hope you're not doing enough to think I can clean this whole place for myself, though. I only really take care of floors four, five, and six. Everything outside of that is not my job, no matter how many times I, they try to get me to cover for someone else. Maybe I feel more inclined if they offer me to pay more, but it's not like I just do cleaning either. I have to keep track of order and organize all these supplies too, you know? Thankfully, they never try to make me take care of the courtyard or the garden on the roof. No. Because those are definitely not my job. Okay, alright, all clean! Is that everything? Oh. I take it you don't see anything- Oh. My walkie-talkie's going off. Hello? Hi, are you the- uh <laughs> Yes, you called me. Is there something I can help you with? We got spill in room 605. You don't want to work enough for us, right? I mean, what else would I be doing? It's my job. I'll get on the elevator now. Great. Could have at least given me a thanks. Freaking <laughs> whatever. <laughs> All right, yeah. See you later. Better get on that. All right, no problem. Anything else in here I could do? Do I take the stairs? Can't use the stairs with the cart with you. That's true. That is very true. I'd rather just get in the elevator. Oh, <laughs> Doctor Oakvale. Still calling me that? Wait, 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 wait. That's not. That's not Ryle's father, is it? I swear that looks like Ryle's father. I told you, just Rune is fine. Wasn't expecting to run into you here. Oh, right. You don't know him. This is Dr. Oakvale. But, for some weird reason, he always insists to be called by his first name. Rune. Something about his last name being too formal? I, I don't know, it's kind of stupid, but whatever. I think he's, like, a fine person or whatever, but, like, the lengths people go to around here to kiss is, uh... It feels a little... Ejeduous. Indreduous. Can I go back to real time? Can't say I don't understand it with a face like that, though. And no, before you think what you're thinking, it's not because of the stupid scar. What's wrong with you? No, it's because it's beautiful, obviously. It's because he's, you know, I'll admit it, he's really handsome. I don't really buy his nice guy act, though. Not that I think he's an or anything, but I don't really buy he's a happy-go-lucky as he acts like he is. Least I'm honest when people here are frustrating me. Vasilis? Vasilis? Huh? Huh? What? I asked if you were going up or down. He is Ryles' father. Yeah, I remember the hair. Right. Oh, uh, right, right. Uh, um, up, uh, sixth floor. <laughs> sure thing. I'm heading up myself, too. Thanks. Rune. Oak. Fail. Is that your name? Uh, thanks, I guess. Of course. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Rune has to be added to the characters in the menu. Oh, the menu? The menu? Characters. Okay. Rune. Dr. Rune Oakvale. He is a neurologist, though he prefers to be addressed by his first name, Rune. Friendly to everyone he meets, Rune is highly respected staff member of Ulto Buck Hospital. Rune has been known to share many stories about himself and have many stories shared about him by others. When not coming from his mouth, it's hard to tell when it's true. That's true, look at that man, my goodness me. Okay, Vasilis. Is are they they them? Vasilis is an environmental service worker at Altobuck Hospital. Or, as they prefer, a janitor. Vasilis has been working for Altobuck for just about a year. They are confident with their job and feel they do it well. Vasilis tries to mind themselves in their own business, but certain situations just can't be avoided or looked past. Of course, of course. Good to know you're a they them early on. Would have accidentally messed it up because I am very dumb. <laughs> no idea what this is, but you gotta clean it up just the same. Wipey, 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 wipey. 
And all better. Go, Leo. Oh. What? I always fear when I pass by this room. This room is... Do you know somebody in there? Mary Anta's room. Mary Anta. She's... <laughs> I feel like every single time it zooms to gray, it's like, this is my life. You're probably wondering how I got here. <laughs> She's uh, certainly name around here. Around this hospital, at least. Mary is a patient who's been here for a long time. And well, it's not unusual for people to be in hospitals for a long time. Especially when they're sick, I guess. But Mary's condition is, uh, special. That is, no one really knows what's wrong with her. It's caused quite a stir when she first came to the hospital. I heard she came for something, uh, basic? Like, huh? appendix or something? But after they fixed that for her, they soon discovered underlying issues. I don't know the specifics of it, I just know that no one knew what the frick was going on. It caused a bit of a panic, and she was even on the news for a little bit. I never saw her face, though. In fact, very little was released about her. I think her family wanted to keep it private or something. Not like I can blame them or anything, you know how people can be. But once it was discovered that whatever she had wasn't contagious, the news about it began to die down. And it kind of faded out as new things became the center of attention. That's what always happens, I suppose. People stop caring quickly once they realize what they are, are not saying? in charge. But... Yeah? She's still been here all this time. It's had to been... Half a year, I think? I remember all the buzz happening around the end of autumn. And, well... Now, we've been getting the springtime weather rolling in again. It feels weird. Like, once I start thinking about her, I can't stop. And some days, it feels like I'm the only one who remembers those first days she was here. I mean... It's not like as if they don't talk to her. They most certainly do. But the attitude's changed. Okay. I think it's because she's been in the hospital for a while. I think she's doing okay, though, despite what's been happening with her. No one's allowed in her room except her doctors and a few nurses, but I know a bit about her. From rumors and all. What about the rumors? Of course, they're rumors, so I don't know if they're true. But, uh, from what I've heard, I know that, well, she has an eye patch. And it was something to do with one of her eyes becoming too sensitive to light or something. They were worried she would go blind if it wasn't covered, so... I also know that. Whatever she has paralyzed her legs not too long ago. Frick, that might have been like, what, last week or the week before? So now, apparently, she can't even go anywhere without help. Not that I've ever seen her outside her room before then, anyways, but... That must have been awful. I think she's at least... eh, stable now? But it's progressed so fast recently, I can't imagine the kind of toll that takes on someone. Dude, are we just gonna stand here and gossip forever? Is it weird that I think so much about a girl I've never met? It's just that her case is so strange, I can't help but to be interested in it. Some days I start to wonder if I'll ever see her walk out that door. Oh. Oh, Dr. Tetra! No! I know you! You're not Dr. Tetra, you're Dr. Oh my gosh, why can't I remember? He showed up in Cemetery Mary. I never finished that game, but I remember him. I remember you. From the funeral, right? Indeed. Do you remember my name? Reginald? That's right. Oh, hello there, Vasilis. You remembered my name? Of course I remember. I can also see your name tag hanging off the side of your cot. Right. Ah, right. You really should wear it, you know. You could get lost like that. And then where would you be? Yeah, yeah, I get it. No need to tell me twice. This is Dr. Tetra. He's Mary's... Re what the heck? Rehumatologist. That's, uh, bones and stuff. Muscles, too, in case you didn't know. Thank you for telling me. He's actually kind of, like... Well, honestly? I've heard him described as a miracle worker. His patients always seem to recover from their alignments at almost an alarming rate. So much so that he even regularly receives gifts and thank you letters mailed here. It's honestly pretty weird, in my opinion. But I suppose it means that there's no one better to take care of Mary than him. Though, truthfully, even just thinking of the job he's tasked with makes me exhausted. Everyone's counting on you to cure the patient with a mystery disease. Maybe just being a janitor isn't so bad. Oh my gosh, the only thing we do is gossip since the moment this began. As for Dr. Tetra as a person, however... Look, 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 he's like, he's like polite and everything, I guess. But in the few times I've talked to him, it feels so condescending. 
And uh, I don't appreciate it, you know? They'll take that stuff. Not like I expect someone in his position to get it. They all think they're so much better than anyone else. Unlike... Rune? Uh, hello? Right, 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 the tag. Uh, I just got lost in thought. I'll fix it in a second. It's quite all right. Did you... Need me for anything? No, no, I was just stopped here to clean a mess, that's all. Wow. Right, well, I'll be on my way then. Do try to keep it quiet out here, though, won't you? Mary's preparing to sleep, and I hate for her to struggle due to noise outside. What are you talking about? I wasn't making any noise. Yeah, I was talking to my imaginary friend inside my head. No need to get so worked up over it. It was just a reminder. I'm sorry that I upset you. Have a nice night. I never saw him as condescending. Was he really? I'm so bad at reading people. Gosh. T Dr. Tetra has been added to the characters in the menu. Let me go check that out. Well, that's that. What am I doing now? I head down to the fourth floor. I haven't checked on it for a while, so there's sure to be something waiting for me. Okay, hold on a second. Let me check my characters real quick. Dr. Tetra. Male. Dr. Reginald Tetra. Was that his name before? I don't remember. It was something with an R. Ruhematologist. Dr. Tetra is Mary's primary caretaker while she's in the hospital. Dr. Tetra is well known for his expertise and skill in treating his patients. He is often well liked by patients. Staff regard him as kind to a fault. Okay. Goalie up. Bacillus! Wow, I have a lot of HP. Energy zero, though. I gotta get myself a cup of coffee. Oh. What the? What's going on? What? What happened? The, the power went out? I haven't seen that happen the entire time I've been here. It wasn't storming it out either, so I wonder what caused it. <laughs> Actually, it was raining here two seconds ago. In my place, I mean. Not in the game. <laughs> Am I losing it? I could have sworn there were people here with me just a second ago. I also realized that, but I thought it was too dark for me to see too far, so I don't know. And, hey! Where'd my cart go? It was right here, wasn't it? Don't psych yourself out, Vasilis. It's just a power outage. The backup lights are on. Nothing's wrong. What was I doing again? I was going to look for more stuff to clean up. Right. Yeah, I just head back downstairs. I'll have to use the actual stairway, though. The elevator won't be working with the power off. Okay. Can I check Mary's room? The door is locked. Okay, just checking, because you were talking so long about her. The key to this was in my cleaning cart. I can't get in here right now. My beautiful cart, what'd you do to it? Just, I just met my cart, but I, if anything were to happen to him, I'd kill everyone in this room and then myself. A lollipop? Whoa, I didn't even know that could happen. Oh, is that like food? I'm gonna get severely injured, aren't I? All right, let's go downstairs. Oh my gosh, what the heck is this organizational system? Uh, four, right? Oh look, a mess. Dear me. Yes, yes, follow the blood trail, follow the blood trail. I mean the lollipop. Uh, I mean the soda. Save game? Uh, yeah. Don't want to go through all that stuff again. I've already been playing for 20 minutes. Dying time passes fast when you're having fun. Ho, 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 ho. Yep, 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 yep. This fluid leading up to the elevator. It's all gooey. What is it? Moreover, no one should be able to get into the elevator. When the power goes out, the elevator is supposed to descend to the first floor and keep its doors open there. They taught me that when I first got here, so... What's happening? Yeah, what's up? Wait, the elevator. There's a strange lock on the, upon the elevator door with words inscribed on top. Please follow proper procedures to open the elevator. Retrieve the elevator key. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 equals 10. What the... What the frick is this? Of course, as if I don't have enough to deal with tonight. No. But, but fine, I'll play your dumb game. Where can I find a key like this, though? Don't I have it? Isn't the lollipop? Kinda looks like a lollipop. Okay. Door is locked. Door is locked. Door is locked. Door is locked. Oh, okay, I guess we're going back, uh... Guess we're going back in the stairway. So we're going to room four. Guess not. Let's see. What else can I go to? I can go to room five. Oh, this is a good place. It doesn't look like anyone's on this floor either. Yeah, but I see that water thing. 
Hello? Where is everyone? Okay, cool. Chill. Don't trip out at me. I'll slap you. There used to be a water cooler. It doesn't look like there's water in it now. <laughs> oh. Ah, there's some money in here. Okay, I really shouldn't be taking this, but... Well... No, it's fine. It's only five anyways. It should be too heavily missed. Besides, if this is a doctor's coat, I'm sure they'll make more than enough, right? I'm not gonna get in trouble for this, am I? Oh, heck yeah! Dude, I'm checking everything now! All right. Oh, that plant looks suspicious. Hold on. A plastic plant with no special or extraordinary qualities about it. I think it's glowing. Literally and figuratively. A venting machine! All right, I got five, but a drink is three. If I can only get one of them, which should I get? I mean, tea is very good for you and all, but coffee should help with the energy levels, right? We need to stay awake. Time calls for desperate measures. The machine clunks about and then drops a coffee in the re the, re the whatever, the receiver. Well, that was easy enough. This can feels like it's empty. I can hear something rattling in it, though. Receive wire. Could I lockpick the elevator with this somehow? With a shot, right? Yeah, that's good. I'll go check that out. Uh, lockpicking, if you know how to do that, good for you. Because <laughs> uh, I don't know how to do that, so that's not the first thing I would have suggested. Back to the elevator! Well... Well, here goes nothing. You attempt to pick the lock in the elevator with the wire. After a few seconds... Ah, what the heck? You receive an electric shock through the wire. Freaking... <sighs> so much for being out of power, asshole. What else can I do? I can try the machine again, but I don't have enough money. Maybe I can find some change in the machine? Oh man. Is this my crime for picking coffee? I get it. We should all not be coffee obsessors. Come on, come on. Oh, yes, some change. I just got enough now. You buy tea from the machine with your remaining money. The machine clunks about and then drops a tea in the... Res in the uh, what? I can't say that word. This can feels like it's empty too. Then again, I can hear something rattling. Elevator key? Ugh, oh, of course. No coffee fans in this world. All right, this should be it. I mean, it better be. You cannot use the vending machine to, pur to purchase drinks. <laughs> drinks or depression? Well, this ought to work. And I even had like tea sitting next to me the whole time. This time. Use the elevator key in the door. After a few seconds. Ta-da! There we go. That was weird. I guess all I gotta do now is get in, right? Step inside. Is it a mouth that's gonna eat me? I'm not gonna do it. Nope, 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 nope. I'm gonna go to the seventh floor. Never mind, I cannot. I will turn around and get in the elevator like a good child. It's like a boss fight's coming up. Okay. Cool. And... What the? Oh! Okay. I don't know what this was gonna be in here. Okay, Vasilis, uh, moves. Attack? Yeah, that thing. Uh -huh. Oh no, how do I, um, am I gonna die? Cool. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Makes all the boo boos go away. You're right, it does. Dual attack? Ho oh ho! Yeah, take that! Ow, my my kneecaps. All right, uh, defend. I gotta save up energy. You spat at me? How rude. Okay, first of all, I played Pokemon before. I know how this works. Yep. Lollipop. Yep. I'm not gonna die. No way. Uh uh. No way. I'm gonna defend, save up some energy, attack. I'm getting into this real quick. What to do? You're dead, dude. You're so dead. Boom! Vestilis wins! 125! A hundred money find? I gotta go start out there and punching demons in the face. Vestilis is now level two. Yeah, run right away, you coward. Um, okay. Yeah, you wanna talk about it? Fuck this! Something's happening here, and I'm not getting paid enough to deal with it. Just got a hundred bucks, dude. I'm getting the heck out of here. Wait, what, what, 
the hell? What happened to the elevator? It's, uh... To access a floor, add or subtract numbers that lead to that floor's number. Accessible floors will be highlighted. A calculator? Then maybe... Maybe if I put three, subtract two? It's working! It's taking me to the first floor! Thank frick! I can get out of here! First floor entrance! Ah, uh, I can't get out! Frick me! You're not supposed to curse this much. You two make regulations. That's me banging my head against the wall. <sighs> you cannot beat me, doors! It's no use. These stupid doors won't budge no matter what I do. Right. This, this has to be a dream, right? I mean, it has to be. Everyone's missing suddenly, a monster's out of a horror movie. There's no way I'm just making this stuff up. You just punch the monster right out of the horror movie. There's no way any of this could be real. Unless... No. This is supposed to be- No, 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 don't be an idiot. That's not real, never has been, never was. You have, have to be in a dream right now. Probably slipped, hit your head. At least the hospital is the best place to do that. But how come I haven't woken up yet? I'm not in a coma, am I? But if I'm really awake, then what the hell is happening? I need to get out of here. Hmm. But how? The front doors are never locked. Are there emergency exits I missed somehow? Maybe if I backtrack, maybe there's some places I usually just gloss over? Not like I have any other option, huh? No, you do not. Welcome. A piece of paper lies here. The typograph B with a Y and page number gives you the impression that it was ripped right out of a book. It reads, The first step is the ability to accept that you are dead. Once that happens, the rest will come easier. As you can imagine, this is very hard for some souls. If a soul is too miserable in the afterlife and able to cope, it can turn them into a... Hmm. The rest of the page is covered by a mysterious black stain, like an ink blot. Thanks, buddy. You're so nice to not dirty the page that you ripped out of the book. Alright, let's check over here first. Let's check all the cabinets, because I got a lollipop out of it. Maybe I'll get another lollipop. Okay, no lollipop. Stairs to the basement. The door is stuck from the inside. The stairs to the basement? No, thank you. I'd rather not. I feel like sometimes this game is really low, and then sometimes it's really high without me having to move anything. The hospital bed. The sheets are tucked and tidy and nobody's using it. Any lollipops in here? Oh, no more lollipops. What a pity. The elevator to the basement. Why is it all to the basement? I don't want to go to the basement. It's just the cafeteria. <gasps> a save point! The party, ha your party has been healed. Party? I get to get a party? In the future? Oh, objective. Find a way out of the hospital. The door to the courtyard is locked. Got it. The cafeteria, though, is not. Let me go over here. Maybe I'll find, like, a whole stash of lollipops. You know what I mean? Now I'm checking everything. Anything that has anything. Annoying people always shoot them like toys. They sure do, don't they? Man, this chair is suspicious. Wow, that chair is like the only one. Actually, wait, why is there so many chairs? Oh! <gasps> Blood! Oh, come on, there's nothing inside this cabinet? Thought I was being sneaky. A sink! Surprisingly, the water runs just fine. It's the afterlife, and I'm probably dead, but the water is still working perfectly. In case you want to wipe away your tears, you know what I mean? Nothing to prepare right now. Okay, so I guess I'll be back with something to prepare, because uh, there's a very convenient chopping board there. A vending machine! Buy a drink? Yes. Which one? Uh, I don't know, bro. I guess the more expensive one. Strawberry milk. Just in case I get really injured. Uh, because I feel like those are just to buy health. Alright, let's continue on with the story. I seem to be very lost. My bad, I know. I usually cut this out. I want to cut it out, but I don't want to, like, cut anything important out. In case we ever need to come <gasps> back to the- Ah, you scared me for the love of gosh! <sighs> Don't scream like that, Vasilis! I just saw the shadow and then I heard you scream! Jeez! Scared me! It's probably just like a toy or something. A little baby. What the hell? Why the hell would you- I thought I was the only person here. Must have scared them in the dark. The dark. But- But they scared me first, creeping around like that. Yeah, what the heck? I actually jumped. A key? Receive room 304 key. Where did they get this from? They weren't a doctor, were they? Three or four means third floor. Fourth room? 
I guess I should go check it out. Battle guide. Read it? Yeah. Battling will be necessary to progress through some parts of the game. When battling, your party members may be affected by different status effects. It will appear- It's freaking- It's Pokemon, dude. Meaning your character is sick, means your character is hyper, their attacks will be stronger, but they will lose extra HP at the end of each turn. Oh, shoot. Means the character is asleep and being able to attack. Means the character is one of HP and- <laughs> Dead. Okay, yeah, I get that one. Okay, every status effect will be re automatically removed in the end of the battle except for dead. Dead can only be removed through some items or by healing or save stations. The elevator's in use, you're going to have to take the stairs. Come back here! Don't scare me like that, you really think I let you get away? Oh. What was that noise? I should check to see if the monster is there, right? Yep, totally, 100%. <gasps> Whoa! <sighs> what are you doing? Be quiet, dummy! That's a lot of things. I, I don't think they can see me. I'm going to keep my distance from them and keep it that way. Really? I kind of want to get through. I'm lucky they haven't s seemed to notice me yet. I'm not going to risk that by doing something stupid. Okay, got it. Going back up the stairs again. Never mind. Don't want to be the hero. Check all the plants because oh, I think there's something in it and they just keep lying to me, don't they? Oh, unlock the door. What? The person but before isn't in here. Oh, duh. Stupid. Of course they aren't here. You took their key for this room. There's really no one here, though. I haven't seen anyone in this place aside from that person on the fourth floor. Okay. A box of crayons sits atop the dresser. Take them? Yes. You collect the crayons from the box. Can I take the toy, too? Hello, Mr. Scrunkly. Color the cat's first eye... What color? Um, red. Green. <laughs> the cat's eyes fade back to white. I guess that's wrong. Hold on, let me look at the pictures. Let me look at the, the pictures. They're paper drawings left on the floor. They appear to have been drawn by a child. Look at the drawings. Yes. Okay, blue and red. Sad. Pink girl. Aww. Cute. Okay. <laughs> I received tea! Nice! What's behind there? Okay. Blue and red. Got it. Oh, I got red right. Close enough. Oh! <gasps> Secret letter! Bleh. The cat shot out a piece of paper at you. What's this? This is a secret for cat bees eyes only. I <laughs> was close enough. Cat's bees. I did a kind of bad thing. The medicine they gave me tastes gross. I don't want to take it anymore. I took Doc's keys and put them in my puzzle box. I put the box under my bed. Mommy tells me not to steal, but I will give Doc her keys back if she promises to give me better tasting medicine. Bleh. <laughs> okay. Huh. Under the bed, huh? Mm. And there we go, buddy. This must be the puzzle box. The note talked about, right? Open it. H how do you open this thing, anyway? Tent the box? Uh, not yet. Didn't you say there was a key? Well, maybe I do have the key. Huh. Press the buttons in order to open the box. Ah, I see. Red, orange. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Yep. It's the cause of the rainbow. Oh. It's open. Receive medicine room key and medicine cabinet key. I don't know where that is. Medicine, medicine. That should be uh, fifth floor, right? Yeah. The center room of the fifth floor. Double doors. Is the elevator free now? Yeah, did that <laughs> someone get out of the elevator already? Who thought this kid to steal stuff like this? I have to find the doctor this belongs to. Give her keys back once all this blows over. I'm out of here, creepy cat. See ya later. So I need to go find the fifth floor. Just checking anything else isn't open here, and then we'll move on. Whoa, look at that thing. I can't even interact with them, so I don't even know what it is. A note. I knew it. A piece of paper lies here. The typography in the page number gives you an impression that was ripped out of the book. It reads, Maybe that's part of the consequences of your soul becoming unrestricted. You're formally tied together by the state of your thoughts. But I've seen them be able to recover, too. 
to return to a form that looks like they should, the form more similar to when they were alive. And yet, I can't help but be most interested in the most monstrous amalgamations of the soul. It must be so cruel to find it fascinating. I've also noticed they seem influenced by their environments. It makes me want to travel this place to every end, seeing how many different forms they can take depending on where they are. What a scientist we are! Okay, got it. Alright, fifth floor, but how do I get there? There's some sort of strange substance that has attached itself to the wall and floor. It doesn't look like it's moving anytime soon. What the heck is this supposed to be? Yep. Select the first number. Okay, I have to get to the fifth floor, right? So, three... Plus two. I know my math! Who would have thought? Oh, is this where I got my, uh, what was it? My five bucks? Oh, hold on. Yeah. Okay, so I have to get to, where was it? Here? The double doors? For the medicine? Yep. Goodness, look at all these beautiful cabinets. I know that the other cabinet already has it and it's glowing. The medicine cabinet is full of battles you can't identify and names you can't pronounce. But I'm just going to take every other cabinet because there might be some secrets. Three hours later. What am I doing over here? Even if I get medicine, it's not like I can... Whatever, let's just see. <gasps> A rat demon! Ah! Cash that thing! For the love of- Oh, I dropped it. Never mind. We don't need it. What the hell was that thing? So uh, big sick of monsters. Yeah. Nope. Horror movie? More like annoyance nice. movie. Receive room 604 key and room 605 key. Room 605? But that's... Mary's room. Uh-oh. Is that the sixth floor? Hold on. 605, 604. I think that's the sixth floor, right? It doesn't go by numbers or am I dumb? Hold on. Yep. Oh, is she dead? Dead? Deflated get well soon balloons on the floor. There was indentions in the bed as if someone had been laying there for a while. A pinkish red book sits atop the bed. There is a lock on the book. It is unlocked. This looks like a diary. Should I read it? N normally I wouldn't, but... Maybe she's connected to this somehow. Maybe she knows why this is happening. It feels like it'll be reckless if I left the stone unturned. I'm not gonna feel good about it, though. The diary opens easily. It appears as though many pages have been removed or scribbled over. Only four clear entries remain. I'm always a little nervous around hospitals, but being in one now, it's not so bad. I had my appendix taken out the other day. I thought I'd be most scared, but it's pretty hard to be scared of surgery when you're unconscious. I still feel really sore, though, and I'm kind of just writing to distract myself. Just a better way to pass time, you know? Write and doodle in here while I wait. Mom and Dad are helping me to check out. I do it on my own, but I still feel a little woozy, and they said I shouldn't stress myself with it. Right now, I'm just waiting for them to finish talking with the doctors and all. Some of the staff said they wanted to talk to them and ask them some stuff about my medical history, and they probably know it better than me anyways. <laughs> I don't think I need to be here too long. They should be finishing up soon. I can't wait to get home and rest in my own bed after all of this. Oh, it's a little chicken and the best friends. I forgot. They showed up in like almost every game. Mom and Dad try to visit me when they can, but that isn't often. And of course, they're the only ones who have showed up to visit me. There's hardly anyone else who would. Staying in this room gets more frustrating by the day. My flip phone doesn't get any service in this room, but it's not like I'd be using it to call anyone anyway. I feel mostly okay, just a few nasty spells here and there. If I stand up too long, I start to feel dizzy. It makes walking pretty hard, and every now and again, a joint will start aching really bad. But other than that, I think I feel alright. The worst part is just... I'm so bored. The TV in my room always plays the same old things, and when you're not doing much, it's hard to have anything to write about. I feel so antsy just sitting around all day. I want to do something. How long have I been here now? I just want to go home. I don't even feel that bad. I don't understand why I have to be here. Dr. Tetra, some days it feels like you are the only thing holding me together. I have been feeling so upset. I can't remember the last time my parents visited or when I last heard from them. They just stopped showing up one day. But Dr. Tetra, even as busy as he is, he's always making time for me. I see him almost every day now. He comes in and sits with me and talks with me. Seeing him is the best part of my day. I always put on a happy face for him. He gives me hope that I'll get better. But it's 
a real smile, genuinely. I love to see you, Dr. Chetra. The other day, he even stuck me out to the roof and let me see the pretty garden that, that's kept up there. I got to sit in the fresh air and look at the scenery. The view was so pretty from up there, and he let me talk about whatever I wanted. Even in my dreadful state, and with his busy schedule, he still comes to see me. His job must be so much, and yet, he's been de dedicating so much time to me lately. And he promised me we would have another roof trip soon. Thank you, Dr. Tetra. I don't know why you wanted to spend your time with me, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Wait a minute, what? She says here her parents stopped visiting, but... Mary hasn't been allowed to have any visitors for a while. Does she not know? Did nobody tell her? I'm still recovering, and yet I have another operation tomorrow? I'm so sick of this. I'm so sick of being sick. No one will even tell me what's wrong with me. Do they even know? Because if they don't know what's wrong, how are they going to fix it? Everyone is working really hard to make me better again, but nothing ever helps. I only ever feel worse. Why can't I feel better? Why can't I be better? I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be a trouble patient anymore. I just want to go home and stop being sick. All I want to do is be better, but all I ever do is write in this little book. But I can't give up. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get to the point where I'm healthy enough to not need to stay in the hospital. I know I can do it. I have to. I have to show them I'm okay. I I'm okay. Oh, no. That's it? I didn't even find anything that'll help well... me. <sighs> no, I'm a creep, aren't I? That seems to be the only thing of importance in here. I'll check the other room, then. Alright. Sorry for your loss, Mary. The flowers are wilted. They look like they've been dead for a long time. Yeah, no, I think that's just her, uh... Yeah, her soul. It wiltered. You know what I mean? Withered. Dead. Oh. You're not gonna leave? What? Oh! Uh Mary, is that you? Wait, 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 stop right there. Just cool it, okay? I'm not gonna slug you. Now, who are... Uh... Ah! S stay back. Don't get any closer. Mary. Oh, from Cemetery Mary. I never finished playing that game. Honestly, it wasn't as entertaining. It was mostly just all novel or like a kinetic novel, which just like lets you read it and you just have to go along with the story. I kind of appreciate games more like this if I'm gonna play it. Hey, didn't I just say I wouldn't slug ya? you? You. Huh. Uh, an eye patch, huh? Are you. Mary? Huh. huh. Y yeah, I'm Mary. Why are you asking? No. No, wait. You can't be Mary. Mary's supposed to be paralyzed. I am paralyzed! I. Ex excuse me? I am paralyzed. Oh. Just. Not right now. I don't really know how to explain it. When the hospital lost power, it was like... I was never paralyzed to begin with. I'm sure that sounds super unbelievable, though. Right. I see. What are you running around for, then? You're still sick, aren't you? Well, I just, uh... <laughs> after everything went dark, I thought someone would come and check up on me. But nobody came, and since I was able to move again, I got curious. So I left my room. And I kept going, until I ran into... Some weird creatures. But when I saw you, I thought you might be one of those monsters. Monster? So, you encountered them too? Y yeah And seeing as I'm really not feeling too sick anymore, and there's some dangerous things miling about, I thought maybe I should just... leave? Well... But, uh, the front doors were locked, so now I'm not sure what I'm looking for. Heh, <laughs> yeah, I tried to leave too. I'm also not really sure where to look for an exit. In that case, then we should, uh, go together, I guess. Hmm? No. No? Huh? Wait, what? Why? What do you mean, no? What if you get me in trouble? Huh? What the hell are you talking about? Hmm. I'm not really supposed to leave my room, you know. What if there's more people here, and they catch me because of you? And then they get upset with me because I left my room. Isn't that just more the reason to come with me, then? Huh? Huh? <laughs> if you're out roaming alone, they'll definitely know you choose to leave that room or whatever. But if I'm with you, well, then we could just say I'm the one who took you out of your room. It'd be much easier to say I wanted to keep you safe while all these, what do you call them, dangerous things smiling about? Okay. okay, look, even if you don't buy that, 
chances are I get in trouble. Not you, right? I see. Yeah, become part of my team. Come on, wild Pokemon. Don't it's be like that. Fuck. Are we good then? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll come with you. Thanks. That made a lot more sense than what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, I know, because I'm a genius. No need to tell me. You're not always it's ditzy, are you? Did you say something? Right. All right, then, uh, now that it's all settled, I have a key to room 604 I was, that was, I was about to go look in. Not really sure what will help us in there, but at the very least, it's worth taking a look inside. All right, lead the way. Okay, Mary has been added to characters in the menu. Mary, join your team. Then, da -da -da! you have now unlocked the talk feature in the main menu. When you have someone in your party, you can talk to them whenever you like by pressing the talk button in the menu. Thank you so much, sir. All right, characters. Mary. A girl claiming to be the infamous patient Mary Anta. Despite rumors of being paralyzed, Mary seems to walk and move perfectly fine. Something is strange with this girl's face. Could the current atmosphere of the hospital be the reason why? Her freaking eye is glowing, dude. Unlock the door. What? 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 Oh, yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear me. The cleaning I have to do now. What? What happened in here? It's like someone's blood just like exploded all over the place. No. All right, calm down. I'm sure that didn't happen. M maybe we shouldn't be in here. As much as I'd like to leave, I don't think we should. Not without looking around first. We'd have to at least make sure there's nothing important in here before no. we go. D do we really? The small loan is... Ugh. And there's so much of it. But when I look, it's just... Hey, can you chill out and shut up? <laughs> Goodness gracious. Chill, everyone. Chill. We're turning on each other. We just got a new team member. Look. We're in a hospital. Of course, it's going to be accidents evolving blood. Okay. Hell, we don't even know if the blood belonged to anyone. Could have just been some blood bags or whatever else. It... Might not even be blood. Maybe it's just the lighting or something. Whatever the case, there's no reason to throw a damn fit over it. Oh, you made her sad. I I'm a janitor, you know? Cleaning is my job, you know? So if it bothers you that much, just turn around and wait until I'm done cleaning, okay? Oh. You're going to clean it? Mm -hmm. I don't get paid to sit on my ass all day, do I? <laughs> I see. R right, sorry. I didn't mean to, uh... I'll, uh... Wait over by the door. S sorry Sorry. Now you're gonna feel bad. Come on. Alright, clean can clean. Bup, 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 bup. I don't even have a bucket, so... The puddle has been cleaned. Ew. Ew. So... This is Mary, huh? Uh, I don't know what I was expecting her to look like. It's just... Weird to actually be seeing her. And meeting her. She seems a bit stranger than I was anticipating. Okay, the puddle has been cleaned. I want a hungry. Yeah, I'm gonna clean the rest of the blood. I don't even want to see the rest. Of the, <laughs> the puddle has been cleaned. Yeah, clean that lot up. I want to clean everything else before that demon comes out and starts making more of a mess. How rude. Can I clean the walls? Look at this place. What a mess. It's Jays. All right. I want. I want my toy food. Lollipop. The puddle has been cleaned. Uh, well, uh, that's something. I want my... Oh, my what? Oh, an escape room! Huh? It's like an escape room! The hole's in the floor. They must be looking for some kind of key. A key? Then, like the elevator from earlier? This can't. Huh. Hey, don't you think this is weird? What do you mean? Like, how the hell did this stuff get here? In a hospital? You know firsthand yourself, after the power went out of this, this weird shit started happening. There's some kind of gas leak that's just causing us to lose our minds or something? You've gotta have some sort of opinion on this, right? I mean, about none of this making any sense? Do I have to? Huh? What? Well... I mean, I don't know why it's happening, but are we just supposed to ignore all this stuff? What else should we be doing if not trying to figure it out? I mean, why do you think it's happening? Whatever, whatever, forget it. What were we talking about before? The holes. A key? Yeah, I think if we can find whatever fits in these holes, it could help us somehow. Right. Right. If we look around, maybe we'll find something. Mm-hmm. Let's look. 
Yeah, maybe we'll find it in this convenient cabinet. Receive room 507 key. All right. Can I take the elevator? Yeah, honestly, I'm having a blast. Did not see. Look, it's already been an hour. It takes me forever to edit these videos. I should stop it at 30, but I wanted to get more content, you know, like Mr. Mr. Teddy Bear or whatever the heck. Anyway, we met Mary, which is a very good start to the game. I'm having a lot of fun. I think I might just finish this game because I'm curious about it. You know, the concept's very interesting. I feel like I've seen Vasilis before, though. If you know where they're from, please tell me down in the comments below because I can't really remember. I'm thinking because this game is so long, I'm going to make a playlist for it. So when that playlist is out and made, you can click on the playlist on the screen now. 